Hello, my name is Justin Shaw. I'm going to be teaching you how to animate in Animate CC. Animate CC is a very nice tool. I've used it on a lot of projects and I've really come to like it. Mainly commercials, but also video games. I do a lot of sprite work and commercial animated graphic design. I'm going to be showing how to work in Animate CC. It is a quality tool. There are some better tools like Toon Boom, but this tool comes with all the Adobe things, and so many times businesses will want to use this over others. All right, we're going to get started. This is, I'm going to click New File. It's going to pop up a thing, and you can hit some of the things down here as work as well, but I'm just going to say HD, but full HD is, uh, works completely fine. 4K is good, frame rate 30 frames, and I'm just going to hit create. That's 30 frames per second. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by understanding the interface, and I'm not going to be explaining all of the tools, just the basic tools to get started. I don't like to work on white because it kind of burns the picture into your eyes after some time. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to click stage, and I'm just going to grab like a medium gray. Now, just like Photoshop, it has layers, but the layers animate this way. Now, I'm going to go to my brush tool. You can click B to get to it, and I'm going to set it to black. And now, this is the background layer. I'm going to say, I'm going to double click it to name it, and I'm just going to say ground, and click enter. And I'm just going to draw a line. If I click and hold shift, it'll just draw a line. I'm going to hold down control and hit Z to back that up. I'm just going to click, drag. And now I'm going to lock this layer so that it can't be adjusted. I'm going to add another layer, and I'm going to call this layer ball. And I'm going to click on the first frame, and I'm just going to draw a ball up here. And this ball is going to go down and bounce. So if we're at 30 frames a second, I want this ball to in around that time to about half a second fall. So I'm going to go to frame 10 and I'm going to right click on its same layer and I'm just going to say insert blank keyframe. Now I don't see my ground anymore because if I look on its layer it stops after the first frame. This is how I move the playhead to see what's there. If I click and I'm just going to go to 20 and I'm going to right click on its layer and I'm going to say insert instead of blank I'm going to say insert keyframe that's just going to duplicate that frame so that it stays there now I'm going to go back to 10 and I'm going to click it making sure that it's blue and I want to be able to see where the ball is before because I lose track of it each one of these frames the dot tells me where the frame has been drawn and every frame here until I get to the next dot is that copy of that frame if I go to this one, the dot's empty. That means that there's no information there. So I go to it, I'm gonna click it to make sure I'm there. And I'm gonna click this. This is gonna be my onion skin. And if I move these, this controls what I can see. So now I'm on that, I can see where the ball was. Now this is halfway at 10 frames. And I'm just gonna say the ball gets squished when it gets to the ground. Now I'm gonna to go to frame 20 and I want it to be a copy of the frame at the top. So I'm just going to right click, copy frame, go to frame 20, paste frames. And now if I hit play, it goes up. Now I want it to loop endlessly, so I'm just gonna click this loop, and I'm gonna move the handles so that it'll play everything inside this area. I'm gonna hit play, and now you see not much of an animation. Let's go halfway between two of these and what I want to do is be able to see the ball. If I grab this green onion skin layer and I put it on top of this one, I can see this is the frame that's here and this is the frame coming next. I'm going to right click in this and say insert blank keyframe. And I'm just going to draw the ball stretched out right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Insert blank keyframe and I'm going to move the handle so I can see better. Now I'm going to hit play. 
So now I've got some ball bouncing and I'm going to add a couple of in-betweens. Just going to right click, insert blank keyframe, just directly in between them. Now this is too wide, I'm seeing too much. So I'm just going to grab the handle, scoot it in, grab the handle, scoot it in. So I know it should be here. Now let's hit play. Now we have a bouncing ball. Now on any of these layers, if I need to move them around, I can click the layer I want to move. And once I've clicked it and let go, I can click again and drag it. If I want to remove one of these layers, if I click on, let's go to turn off onion skin. I'm going to go to this layer and I want to move this. If I click on this, you'll see that it's got this kind of weird pattern on it. If I hold down control, I can click and I can drag it. And if I go to my eraser tool, which looks like this, I can erase. I can also remove frames by if I click and drag, I can click on a single frame. I can right click and go to remove frames. Where'd you go? And it's going to scoot the timeline back. But if I just want to get rid of a frame, once I click on this, I can hit backspace and you'll see that it's selected. Now it's gone. And if I want to change this animation, like let's say I want this ball to be on fire, I'm going to lock this layer. And I don't want to be able to see it this darkly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button. And this just gives me the outline. And if I want to change it, I can right click and go to properties. And I can say, don't be this kind of magenta. Let's go to something like dark gray and say 50% opacity maybe a little less so like because I just want to barely be able to see it and I'm going to add another layer fire grab myself something like a red and I'm going to say that it's just barely on fire here and then go to the next keyframe insert frame insert blank frame fire starting to stretch out insert blank frame now that it's really going it's really stretching out even faster And then the fire goes to the side. Sometimes you get this pattern Whenever you go to a frame, you see that right there. It means you can select it and you just have to click off of it to get rid of it. And this working on layers allows us to make a lot of changes and to paint. Most of the time, whenever you do one of these animations, you're going to be testing it here and then you're going to just go over and you're going to, you won't draw, you'll do most of your actual art in Photoshop but I'm going to export this so I can work on it. I'm just going to go to file export. Now to save it, you're just going to go save as, and you're going to name it the assignment name or the project name, your name, and then the date and save it as an animate document. This will let you open it up with your layers, but whenever you're wanting to export it, when you're finished, go to export and export as animated GIF, or you can export as a movie. I'm just going to go animated GIF. It's just collecting all the layers and flattening them out going to hit play and then I'm going to hit save and it's going to export as an animated GIF and if I want to zoom out I have a zoom tool here I'm just gonna and if I need to zoom all the way back out I'm just gonna say fit to window now I can see everything 
and then I can just move in like this or with the zoom tool I can just select the area I want it to be zoomed in so I want to see the fireball closer once you have these gifs you can take them into Photoshop and then you're just going to draw frame by frame on them but it kind of depends on the project and what they want this should give you a basic overview of how to use it there's a lot more tools inside of here that we haven't talked about but this should help you do the majority of the assignments that you'll be working on